What are some cool things you've discovered about dinosaurs? Do you know what the longest dinosaur name is? I'll give you a hint. Its name means tiny thick-headed lizard in Greek. <laughs> I'm sure it's obvious now, and if it's not, stick around to the end of the video for the answer. Hi, I'm Nathan with Kids Enjoying Jesus, and I want to tell you how to use things you discover about dinosaurs, even a name that's 23 letters long, to pique kids' interest in God's Word and even share the gospel. The word dino can help you remember why dinosaurs are good news for kids. In my last video on this topic, I encourage you to discover dinosaurs for yourself. Now we're going to take a look at the letter I and explore some ways you can use your dino discoveries to introduce God's truth to kids. Whether you're teaching in Sunday school, Good News Club, or just chatting with kids in your community, gaining their interest and attention before you say something significant is crucial. Kids and lots of adults have short attention spans. So before you launch into something as important as God's Word, it's a good idea to introduce the topic with something interesting. And what could possibly be more interesting than dinosaurs? This can be done as simply as asking the question, what's your favorite dinosaur? Or something more complex, like getting your very own Brachiosaurus toe bone fossil replica for kids to see and touch. These things are pretty cool. And can you imagine having a toe this big? This thing is a great icebreaker. There are also lots of other ways to get the conversation started. Just in case you don't have a toe bone replica, you can still share something cool you've discovered about dinosaurs with kids. Since kids like dinosaurs so much, you can literally just say, can I tell you something I learned about dinosaurs? And you're ready to go. But with a little effort, you can make it even more interesting and even turn it into an activity for Sunday school, family devotions, or VBS. I'm going to show you a couple ideas in this video and you can visit our website at kidsenjoyingjesus.com for these written instructions and for more ideas and resources that you can use to use dinosaurs to enjoy Jesus with kids. First, let's take a look at pictures. It's super easy to find free pictures of dinosaurs online. You can either print them or use your smartphone to show them to the kids. I use pictures on my phone a lot when I teach. It's just so much faster than printing. But if you are going to print dino pictures, please make sure they're legally available for your use. Don't break copyright laws. God doesn't like it. So to help you avoid copyright infringement, I've made it super easy for you to get some free pictures of dinosaurs. If you go to our resource page at kidsenjoyingjesus.com, you can download and print totally free and totally legal pictures of dinosaurs that have fun fossil facts for kids on the back of them. They even have a Bible thought and a verse you can use to launch the conversation in a spiritual direction. Follow the link in the description to learn more about this free resource. Pictures are an easy way to get kids excited about dinosaurs. Just show the pictures, have the kids guess what the dinosaur is, and then share some cool stuff you've discovered about that kind of dinosaur to introduce a conversation about God's truth. It might look something like this. Do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? Uh, Trusteraptor. You think it's a Velociraptor? Well, you're right. It did, is a did, Velociraptor. Velociraptor means fast thief or speedy thief because scientists think that this dinosaur may have stolen eggs or food from other dinosaurs. So they call it a thief. And they think maybe it was fast. So they call it fast thief or fast robber. Velociraptor. This dinosaur had big claws on its toes. Can you do this? Big claws on its toes that were as big as my finger, even though this dinosaur wasn't very big. They've made a lot of movies about velociraptors, but in the movies, they make the velociraptors way too big and way too smart. In real life, velociraptors were smaller than you. They were about the size of a turkey. What sound does a turkey make? <laughs> and they didn't weigh as much as you do, or they weighed about the same amount, and they weren't even as smart as you are. So those movies said some things about velociraptors that really aren't true. And that reminds me that it's really important for us to make sure we know what's true. Now, maybe it's not really that important that we know what's true about velociraptors, but there are lots of things in life that it's really important for us to know the truth about. That's why it's important that we don't believe everything we hear. Can you point at your ears? And we don't believe everything we see. Can you point at your eyes? We need to believe what's true. And the way to find out what's true is by reading the Bible. Can you hold your hands like a Bible? The Bible says, study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. That's a lot of words, but it means that God wants us to read the Bible. Can you hold your hands like a Bible? God wants us to read the Bible so we can find what's true and we can believe it and we won't believe lies. Another great tool is toys. 
Many dollar stores have plastic toys representing common dinosaurs like T-Rex, Triceratops, Apatosaurus, and Stegosaurus. And get this, they're only about a dollar! And after you've used them in Sunday School or VBS, you can keep them to play with for yourself and use them again and again and again in children's ministry or with your own kids. Just show the kids a toy, ask them what sound they think that dinosaur made, and then you can share what you've discovered about that kind of dinosaur to introduce a spiritual concept. It might look something like this. I've got a dinosaur. Can you make a dinosaur noise? Wow. Yeah, can you hold the dinosaur for me? It's a T-Rex. You see his sharp teeth? Can you show me your sharp teeth? He was a big dinosaur. He was so big and so strong and had so many sharp teeth that they named him Tyrant Lizard King. That's what Tyrannosaurus Rex means. He, they call him the king of the dinosaurs, but he's not really the king of the dinosaurs. Jesus is the king of the dinosaurs because he's the one who made them and he's the one who holds them together. The Bible actually says right here, it says, for by him were all things created, even dinosaurs, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him, and he's before all things, and in him all things hold together. That means Jesus was the one who held the dinosaurs together. Can you hold the dinosaur together? Jesus held the dinosaurs together and kept them from falling apart. He holds you together and keeps you from falling apart. He holds the universe together and keeps it from falling apart. Jesus is the king of the universe, the king of the world, the king of all animals, and the king of dinosaurs. Jesus is awesome. An added bonus of using toys is that the kids can both see and touch them, and maybe even stomp them around on the table while they repeat the memory verse for the day. At least that was a big hit in my preschool Sunday school class. Another simple way to blow kids' mind with dinosaurs is with measurements. Kids love to see how big dinosaurs really were, so I've used a tape measure to show them. You can let the kids help you measure out three feet, which is about the same length as a grown triceratops horn. Or you could measure up 25 feet to show how long a triceratops could get. Technically, if you look it up, you'll see that they could get to 30 feet, but my tape measures only go to 25 feet, and most smaller tape measures do, so unless you have a longer tape measure, you're gonna have to show them how big a teenage Triceratops could get. Or you could measure up 18 to 20 feet to show how tall a large T-Rex could get. There's lots of different dinosaur parts that you could measure to show how big or even how small some of these dinosaurs were. These are just a few ways you can use dinosaurs to introduce spiritual conversations with kids. Want more ideas? Follow the link in the description to visit our website to see how you can really easily make actual sized T-Rex teeth and actual sized Titanosaur footprints that are bigger than you. Once you've discovered stuff about dinosaurs, you can use these ideas to introduce God's truth to kids. Now maybe you're thinking, great, that's amazing, but once I've used dinosaurs to get the kids' attention, what do I say about God's word? That's a great question. I've already shown you the fossil facts for kids flashcards that have a Bible thought and verse on the back that help you do that, and you've seen a little bit of it demonstrated. But I also want to show you how you can use dinosaurs to introduce and share the gospel of Jesus Christ with kids. That's what I'll talk about in our next video in this series, where I'll tell you what the N in dino stands for. Stay tuned. And speaking of letters, have you guessed which dinosaur has the name that's 23 letters long? The title of the longest dinosaur name currently belongs to a Chinese fossil that has been dubbed Micropachycephalosaurus. <laughs> Pretty cool name, huh? Micropachycephalosaurus. It's quite a mouthful. And speaking of interesting dinosaur names, say hello to Subscribosaurus rex. Scientists have recently discovered this remarkable reptile whose diet is made up entirely of subscriptions. So we're raising awareness and asking people to subscribe to our YouTube channel and subscribe to our blog so we can use those subscriptions to keep this critter alive. Please have a heart and become a subscriber today to help us keep this marvelous creature from going extinct. You can also like this video and share it with your friends so they can help feed Subscribosaurus Rex. Do it now before it's too late and this incredible species is gone forever. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out our website kidsenjoyingjesus.com where you'll find more tips, resources, and ideas to help you enjoy Jesus with kids.